This is hard to sit here. Um, watching that entire night and everything that that was, I mean, you said that you needed to move forward to do this on your own or without me or in the other relationship, and you left. The moment you left, I had completely crumbled. I had to walk away without closure, and I had to fill in the gaps of what our relationship really was. And I wasn't OK. I wasn't OK at all. And producers were in my room, seeing how bad I was hurting. And I asked you for a conversation. And it was not a conversation where I was trying to change your trajectory or trying to change your mind or fight for you. It was a conversation so that I could have my inner peace when I left Pennsylvania. And you said no. I just want to start by saying I'm sorry that you were going through that. Um, there's no justification for why I didn't have that conversation. And if I would have known that this is how you were feeling in that moment, then I would have fought to have that conversation. Um, just in terms of there being any doubt in how I felt about you, what I can tell you is that when you showed up, when you did, it was a breath of fresh air. And, and I always tell people who ask that you weren't late, you were right on time. And I would just hope you would know that I really did care about you. Mm -hmm. And everything you had shared with me and seeing your heart. And I mean, the way that you carry yourself throughout the show and the emotional labor you took on and continue to take on as just a black woman in your position and showing grace and composure through a lot of situations where I probably would have snapped. My respect and admiration for you is just through the roof. And Again, if I could do it over again, I would have had that conversation with you, knowing how you feel. And all I can say now is I'm sorry. I appreciate that. Michelle, if you, if you remove the anger that you still had, do you still love him? I care about you. We went through a lot together. We laughed a lot together. And I'm a very forgiving person. I mean, you and me talking about it right now, it's, I've on, honestly already put it down. And I'm not in love like I was leaving the show, but it does help hearing that what you felt for me was real and what I was feeling, we were on the same page somewhat up until that point. But I think that was what I was really struggling with the most, so I do appreciate that. Well, Michelle, you, um, you may never see Matt again. So is there anything else you want to say? What do you want to get off your heart? Uh, you have taught me a lot about relationships and what I'm looking for and what I'm not looking for at times. <laughs> but you will always hold a piece of my heart. And I hope you find your happiness. I hope you move on with kissing with your eyes closed. And I hope you come up with more phrases than just thanks for sharing. <laughs>